Y'all, what's up, man? Y'all saw that Andre Berto Quintana fight. For those who didn't, I'm going to give you the results real quick. And I wanted to answer some of the questions I was asked in my earlier vid this morning on a prediction for the Andre Berto Quintana fight. And um, real quick, uh, Andre Berto won by knockout. I think it was the seventh round. I think Andre Berto did not perform as good as he should have. I think he had a Quintana that was obviously drained to fight at 147. He is, you know, he only had two fights in the last past in the last two years, and they were both at 154. So that means Quintana must be walking around at 170, 175, close to 180 probably. And um, so you know, he probably drained himself to be able to fight at Walter. I think the weigh-in, I don't know, it was like yesterday at 6 o'clock, so I guess it doesn't give him that much time to um, uh, rehydrate himself. You know, all these things kind of accumulate into becoming of what happened in the ring where you saw a real weak, tired Quintana. Quintana was tired like from the first round. You know, um, I was watching it in, in Spanish. I had some friends, a couple of them, uh, wanted to hear it in Spanish because they understood it better and at the end the commentator, the Spanish commentator said that's not even the half of the Quintana we knew three years back. The last two fights he had he won, Quintana won by knockout but this was at 154 and apparently he felt real good at 154 and he was fighting good at 154 but you know only two fights in two years, he's 33 years old you know they drained him back down to 147 Obviously, he did not perform close to good at 147. And still, Berto, you know, Andre Berto being the younger one, 26 years old, you know, has real great legs, great movement. But the guy, you know, I would see him in the second, third, fourth round with his mouth open, tired. You know, Berto should not have been tired. He looked sluggish. There were certain points in the fights, during the fight, where Berto would hurt Quintana, and he didn't finish him off, you know, because... His stamina just kind of goes up and down, up and down. I don't know what's up with Berto, but the thing was, he was supposed to be impressive in this fight. But, you know, sometimes the fans know what's up. Sometimes fans can sense, you know, this guy has been off for, for so long. Like I said, I did not know much of his, how, how, how well conditioned Quintana could have been. I understand he was in good condition, you know, in good shape. But... I did not know that you know he had to work real hard or he had to drain himself that much to make weight because physically he looked good but you can tell that you know from right from the first round this guy was just a tired fighter like a drained fighter and and I don't want to take any credit away from Berto but I understand if you have this type of a guy in front of you you're supposed to take him out two three four rounds you know not let the fight extend himself extend itself to seven eight rounds and on top of this you getting tired. Berto was getting tired during these rounds, which, you know, it's no excuse. I think he's young, he's in his weight, you know, he's fighting Walter. I don't think, I don't know why he would get tired in these early rounds that way. You know, if you're in the ring with a Mayweather or a Pacquiao, you wouldn't have a chance. You know, these guys don't get tired. Berto, you're younger and you're getting tired, you know. You look at Timothy Bradley, man, this dude's young, this dude's an animal. This kid, you know, he'll fight 20 rounds and don't get tired. So, Berto, you know, I don't know. You were supposed to impress to a certain point, but people just, you know, after that Koyasu fight and the way, you know, judges, they'll steal fights for you, but they can't steal the fans for you. And the, 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 the stadium was halfway empty. They had people outside giving t uh, tickets away. They, were, they had people giving tickets away so people could come in there and see the fight. And still, there was like 50 people in the fight. Larry Merton said it himself that Pacquiao would have a bigger entourage in his room. In his, in, in, his, in his room before coming out to the fight, he would have more people there than there were in that little stadium. So that stadium was empty, man. I think, you know, they were offering hot dogs and free soda so people would go see the fight. And still, it was halfway empty. Um, so, I guess you gotta step up your game to a certain point. Honestly, probably HBO, you know, already invested some money in, Ber in Berto when they're trying to cash in but apparently I don't know this fight does not did not impress me it did not impress me you had a tired weak drained older Quintana and you did that you know you knocked him out seventh round but did not look all that good doing it but you know much props to the dude I think he's 26 years old so he does have room 
to to uh, to get better. I think he does have room to get better, and he's probably just you know probably lazy or something. I don't know why he should get tired. A guy that physically looks great, don't know why he gets tired like that. Um, so I might not have enough time. To, uh, I wanted to answer some of the questions of of uh, final round men take bubble bath. Couple guys, uh, Roscoe, what's up? Uh, props, A and Duriki, and I, I was just le reading your uh, message. I was gonna try to answer you. I'm kind of sleepy. Let's see if I can do another vid answering those, answering those questions so I can get to you with that. Uh, thank you a lot. You know, uh, I think the fight well, was free. But next week, next week, Parvik uh, Martinez, man, they're trying to take Martinez out of boxing or something. He just get, you know, it, it gets harder for him. You know, he's winning fights, but he's getting robbed. He's not winning them. He's getting robbed. And every time, they just put in a, a even harder opponent in front of Martinez, man. You know, uh, you got Carlos Quintana, Paul Williams. Oh, that's going to be a good one. You know, I'm already picking. I'm already kind of picking Paul Williams for that fight. But let's see what's up. I'll do a better. Uh, I'll think that out a little bit. Um, so let me do another vid as quick as I can on answering some of the questions on there. So thanks, y'all. Let me get at you real quick. And like I said, Andre Berto won in the seventh round by knockout. And it was a pretty spectacular knockout. I think they should have stopped it a little bit earlier because Quintana was looking bad anyway. Um, so let me get at you with that, people.